churchmilitant.tv would not be where it is today without the support of our many premium subscribers. Please consider becoming a premium subscriber today for just $10 a month. Your monthly subscription helps us to continue our critical work for the church in her desperate hour of need. If you're already a premium subscriber, we encourage you to sign up your friends and your family. Or even fellow parishioners who need to see the truth and beauty of the Catholic Church in a fresh way. Sign up today. And may God bless you. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. The United States began an air campaign against the notorious Islamist group known as ISIS this morning. U.S. warplanes bombed ISIS artillery that was threatening Christians in the Kurdish capital. Obama cited America's commitment to prevent genocide and protect its allies as the rationale behind the strikes. Although more airstrikes could take place in the future, Obama ruled out the possibility of deploying American ground forces. On Thursday evening, after Obama gave the go-ahead for an airstrike, ISIS responded, threatening to strike back at the U.S. A spokesman for the terror group ISIS said in a video interview posted online Thursday, quote, I say to America that the Islamic Caliphate has been established. Don't be cowards and attack us with drones. Instead, send your soldiers, the ones we humiliated in Iraq. We will humiliate them everywhere, God willing, and we will raise the flag of Allah in the White House, end quote. For the first time in history, the U.N. Secretary General has openly instructed U.N. officials to promote abortion. Last week at U.N. headquarters, the Secretary General presented a directive to member states asking that abortion be an option for women who have suffered from sexual violence and war. No member states challenged the directive. Although the directive carries no legal authority and member states are not bound to follow it, the Secretary General's open promotion of abortion sets a dangerous precedent for countries who are pushing for a right to abortion on demand. The head of Oklahoma City Satanic Church says he plans to use a consecrated host in their ritual at the Civic Center in September. He said the host was acquired from a friend and then asked, quote, why is a piece of bread that some man said some words over so sacred, end quote. The Archbishop of Oklahoma City is calling for increased prayers and the recitation of the St. Michael prayer following every Mass in the Archdiocese until September 29th, as well as having some, the faithful pray and fast for meat. In Fremont, California, many parents are strongly opposing a new high school sex education book for freshmen. Parents object that the book is extremely pornographic and explicit, as it talks about masturbation, bondage, orgasms, sex toys, and condoms. Some parents are threatening to sue the school district, arguing that the school violates state law by providing inappropriate information. District Superintendent Jim Morris defended the book, saying that the anatomy content is, quote, required to be taught, end quote. I'm Michael Miller. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about how no good Catholic is unprepared for the future. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. Have a great weekend, and may God bless you. For nearly 2,000 years, the Catholic faith has influenced, changed, and formed the entire structure of our society here on planet Earth. And yet you're still sitting there knowing next to nothing about the Catholic Church? Why is that? Get yourself a premium account at churchmilitant.tv for only $10 a month and get with the times. Sign up today.